Uh, we're in a phony war sort of state in the euro crisis. The basic problem, the bankruptcy of some incompetently or dishonestly run southern European states, is as bad as ever it was. But the European Central Bank's promise to stand behind them seems to have stayed the hands of the gamblers who make or break national economies. But vast numbers of Germans have yet to be convinced that propping up nations like Greece or Spain is a worthwhile use of their taxes. So is the euro crisis ending or not? Paul Mason, Lancashire's answer to Nostradamus is here. So remind us first off uh, what the European Central Bank did in the summer. Well look, we're at a crucial moment Jeremy and it, it's all to do with Spain. If you could sort Spain out, uh, you sort the acute phase of the, of the Euro crisis. Everything that the European Central Bank did over the summer was aimed at Spain. And just to recap, uh, Mario Draghi, the, the, the boss of the European Central Bank, in July said we're going to do anything that it takes. Uh, and, and you better believe it, it'll be big enough. Um, and 6th of September, he moves and he offers to buy unlimited amount of bonds uh, from Spain and Italy and anybody else who wants to, as long as they take some kind of bailout. Here's the Spanish stock exchange. It falls by a third over the year and as soon as Draghi speaks in July not when he acts in September but when he speaks in July there it is it's back it's it's significantly back up already and now let's look at the all-important um, bond yield so this is what it costs Spain to borrow over 10 years it's rising as the panic rises towards July uh, Draghi speaks and down it's gone the only problem is things are also slightly falling apart tomorrow you'll see the, the boss of Catalonia a major region go and demand fiscal autonomy from Spain. Um, he, he'll probably call an election if he doesn't get it. We've had disturbances on the streets of Madrid tonight. We had this huge demonstration at the weekend and I've been speaking to two veteran Spanish politicians about how they get out of this impasse. For the railway workers who took over Madrid's main station this week, time is running out. 65 billion euros worth of cuts and tax increases are hitting wages and jobs hard. That's what brought more than 100,000 onto the streets last Saturday, but there is more austerity to come. Soon, the Spanish Prime Minister, Mariano Rajoy, will be forced to take a bailout, and the conditions are likely to be tougher still. So, is Europe really prepared to throw hundreds of billions of bailout cash at the political class that brought this country to its knees? One man who helped design modern Spain is former Socialist Prime Minister Felipe González. Today, he's scathing about the Rajoy government's handling of the crisis. My impression is simply that the government doesn't know what to do. It's not just that it's doing things wrong. My impression is that it doesn't know what to do with the Spanish economy, nor does it know what role Europe should play. Gonzalez believes Spain should take a bailout, but based on the austerity programme, it's already agreed. It should stop waiting and propose its own solution now. It has to be a Spanish proposal. This, inverted commas, proposal from the government, let's wait and see what the others are doing, that's wrong. They should say, this is my position, this is what we want, and then the answer will be either yes or no. All this year, Spanish politicians have had to live with the spectre of social unrest. Last week, one and a half million Catalans took to the streets of Barcelona, demanding outright independence. The region, one of Spain's richest, is bust. La gente protesta con toda la razón. People protest with good reason, because they don't know where we are heading, including the Catalan mobilisation and the one in Madrid. Nobody has a serious explanation of what the government wants to do, except for what the Prime Minister says. We do what we have to do, even if we don't like it. You have to explain what you are doing and why. Spain's banks, part nationalised, are to be bailed out to the tune of 100 billion euros with EU taxpayers' money. But it will be politically sensitive. Tens of thousands of ordinary savers were encouraged to buy shares in the busted banks and they could lose a lot. 
But the crucial question for Madrid remains the conditions on the sovereign bailout. Germany wants them tough. Spain's man on the European Commission begs to differ. I think more strict uh, surveillance or monitoring on how the different uh, obligations and commitments are implemented is always good. But you don't think Spain needs any additional substantive austerity measures imposed from outside? With uh, the information available right now, I, I don't think so. I think what Spain needs is to uh, regain confidence in the way those uh, recommendations and those commitments are being implemented. Even as Spain waits and protests, the pro-Euro political class sees this as a moment to go forward. There have been strong calls out of Brussels for a rapid move to fiscal union, political union and calls here in Britain for a referendum, which Mr Almunia does not agree with. What uh, we need is to uh, see how the European Parliament and the European Commission, that we are accountable before the European Parliament, we uh, show the citizens that our decisions, our strategies, our discussions are as democratic and as transparent and as understandable as the ones that are taking place in our national parliaments. What does that, I'm not sure what that means. Does that mean there will be a, there, there should be a referendum on fiscal? No, 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 no. I, I am in favour of a, of a parliamentary democracy. I think this uh, democratic election in 2014, the European Parliament election, in less than two years is a very, very important uh, day for all the Europeans because there the majority of the representatives of the people that will be sitting there will be those who will have in their hands most of the most important decisions for our future. It's fast forward to political and fiscal union, but few expect the coming bailout to be welcomed by Spain's people. And if Spain does get the bailout light demanded by its senior politicians, will Germany, so vilified here, buy it? Well, now here to discuss this are Roland Rudd, chairman of Business for New Europe, the UK Independence Party MEP Marta Andreessen and Luis Garicano, Professor of Economics and Strategy at the LSE. Would you say, it seems, doesn't it, that this strategy appears to be working so far? I think it is working. It was an extraordinary decision by Mario Draghi to say he would do whatever it takes in terms of buying bonds from European governments, and it was a brave decision. And, of course, the governments actually have to ask for it. And the big thing with Rajoy, although I think some things he's doing are right, he needs to show a greater sense of urgency. And one of the things he could do is by asking right now for that bailout, which I think is needed. Can it last? I don't think so. I think it's a short-term solution. And uh, in the end, when the conditions for this bailout are laid out, the Spanish government will have to face reality and the people will react to this. I don't think this bailout will solve the problem, you know. I think the European Union is part of the problem <clears throat> and the European Union is not going to bring the, situation, the solution for the situation. I think, uh, you know, it, they need to think uh, differently. The Germans, the, I mean, the head of the Bundesbank was saying the other day that this was like something out of Faust. I mean, they're really, really worried, aren't they? I mean, they are, so. they are of two minds. This solution allows them not to actually pay, but to find another way to pay. Well, well as long same, as the bluff works. Yeah, I mean, the, the problem is exactly. The problem is if you are not supporting the solution, it's not really credible and at the end it might just fall apart. Who's <coughs> going to actually blink first? And that's, that's going to be one of the big things in, in, in the whole of this bailout. But I think, I think Mario Draghi's made it very clear that what, it's sort of irreversible. <coughs> Once you actually ask for the help, you get the help, you're going to have to embark on the structural reform. And I think but the sort of sense of momentum that will take those countries through that will be helpful. And you're seeing the structural reform actually happen already in Spain and in Greece. It's just that we need more of it and with more sense of urgency. Do you get the feeling that the, 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 the Spaniards will accept the conditions? I mean, the, the government is hesitating too long. I mean, I think they really need to step forward and ask. And, and it's better to ask now when the situation is relatively calm mm. than to wait for the next panic and then suddenly on a Friday night say, well, we are desperate. Then the Dutch and the Germans and all the rest are going to just come piling on with extra conditions, like happened with the rescue. The banking At the rescue, end of the day, the banking rescue was supposed to be a, just a banking rescue and then all the going conditions. Going to print money. I mean, it's about printing money to uh, sort out the situation and to keep the Eurozone going. 
I mean, it would be much better to allow these countries that do not really uh, have the their economies are at the level that they should be, to allow them to leave the Eurozone and the value and the fall. But they don't because want this to leave the Eurozone. To printing money they don't want to. this country has they been doing. They don't want to leave. No, no. Well, it's listen, in Spain, in Spain, when the Euro when the Euro was introduced, the Spanish people were mad with, because a coffee was worth one peseta. And it, the following day, it was worth one euro. You mean that was once. This is a very cheap one, coffee. Yeah, that well, would be a cheap coffee. One hundred pesetas, and the following day, it was one hundred and sixty-six pesetas. Yeah. Okay, and the people were not happy at all. Then, of course, the European Union so, comes, injects their okay. structural funds, all the funding, and the people are happy with this. But for the importance of doubt, you think uh, Spain would be better off? Out of the euro, I I think that so not only Europe Spain, not only Europe. Spain, yeah. but you know many right. of the c countries in the southern part of Europe that do not have the what level. What about okay? Well, what about the alternative that's being canvassed, which is this you know, fast progress towards fiscal union and all sorts of other institutions which make it impossible for that sort of thing to the, happen? The, the essence out. of the banking union is a European de uh, deposit insurance. The European deposit insurance is a and European regulator and no, the resolution the essence, authority. The, the three essence things. is the no, deposit no. insurance. And this has not been agreed by Germany. No, sure. And I don't think that Germany is ever going to agree to this deposit insurance. So this banking union is a dream of Mr. Barroso. That's all. I mean, no. to implement, I'm afraid, to I'm afraid implement not. the banking I'm, I'm afraid you're going to be well, very upset then. There's never been any shortage of dreams among the European political class, has there? The difficulty has been when they choose to act them out. Exactly. Exactly. I, I mean, mean, they come up and the, the Commission has been drawing policies and proposals for the last decade. And they have injected have money and this money ago, has been wasted. Things that two Nothing years ago, has happened. I mean, this gigantic things things give them, let them get a word in. Things, <laughs> things that two years ago would have been considered inconceivable have happened. I mean, this thing that you find so weird that Draghi did, this is acting like any grown-up central bank. Listen, like the, I like say the UK crisis. He said a crisis. I mean, that, we would have had a huge one thing financial crisis in he July. He, he hasn't saved done. the crisis. He, he certainly did. But you're, yes. He has postponed it's fine. the crisis. Mm. Exactly. That's the key point. Has he postponed the crisis? No. Or has he no, 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 no. Because, nixed because, it, flattened it? No, because you can already see big changes taking place in Spain. There have been proper labor reforms. It no is easier to hire and fire. Oh, yes, there are. There are greater variations of pay in Spain. The fact is, we need. he needs to do more and the best thing Rajoy could do is actually ask for the help. You look at Spain, you've had four attempts with Bankia and, and that's why you need something like the European Stability Mechanism where actually you get, a, you get an independent institution that actually, actually recapitalizes a bank not going through no. the sovereign right. nation. No. Okay. That's exactly. the wrong, you, right. Bankia should have I been want closed to ask down. You a, I want to ask you a very simple and rather trivial question. Okay. These two clearly think this is going to work. What's your prediction no, I, for well, you've got reservations, but there are a lot of things that need to be done. But you think I'm more of an optimist. Um, what's your prediction for 18 months' time? How many countries will still be in the euro? Well, I think I know the EU from the bottom of yeah. my heart. So I, need, I know, know that know they will drag it. on and on and on. Yeah. They come will on, drag come on. on. What's the answer? Well, the answer is that I think that Greece is going to leave in the so near future. So down to 16, yeah, and then... And Spain will follow, but Spain will take some time because Spain will be the end of the, Euro, the, of the Eurozone. If okay. Spain leaves, right. it will be the end of the okay. Eurozone. And I am sure, no such luck. I am right. sure that the Commission will do we'll have all, 17 all that right. is okay. possible to say. Thank you all this. very much.